Hey guys, my name is Morgan, welcome to No Nation. Just kidding guys, this time you will have to put up with this blondie. Everybody, welcome to Ask No Nation, a video where we chose a few of your questions to answer them the best way we can, the No Nation way. So everybody, sit down, relax, and let's go right into business with the first question from Johnny VB. How do you think Luis Enrique will handle the midfield for the upcoming season since he has a lot of options? That's right, we have so many players in the midfield because nobody was expecting that we sign Andre Gomez. So now we have Iniesta, Busquets, Andre Gomez, Arda Turan, Rakitic, Denis Suarez, Rafinha, also if needed, Sergi Roberto or Mascherano, and also Samper. Well, I think Samper will go on alone. I hope so for his own good, so he can grow up as a player. But we still have a lot of midfielders. Well, Sergi Roberto will be as a right back, Mascherano is a center back. I think Luis Enrique will start with the same ones, with Iniesta, Busquets and Rakitic. That's for sure, they are the kings in the midfield. Arda Turan will come in the pitch from time to time, changed by Rakitic as always, as usual. And about Denis Suarez and Andre Gomez. What I think Luis Enrique will try is that they learn a little bit from Iniesta and the Barcelona style and they will get chances in the, in the Spanish Cup or maybe in the group round in the Champions League. But they will have to show up and show a lot to Luis Enrique so he can trust them because the midfielders that we have, they are top. And I hope also that Rafinha gets a few chances. Then the second question is from Niklaus Ardasasta. Andre Gomez is one of the hottest youngsters in world football right now. There are many big clubs who wanted to sign him, but in the end, Barca got him. What do you expect from him in this first season with Barca? Do you think he can deliver his service in the Barca's midfield? Well, what I expect from him is to learn, to learn fast, to learn a lot from Iniesta because I think in a few years, if he stays, he will be the perfect substitute in that position. And I think he will deliver the service because he, he was very happy when we signed him. He wanted to join Barca and he was a little bit scared when Madrid was after him and another team because he, he thinks he fits in Barcelona style. So hopefully we can see that on him and he scored many goals and he can help the MSN because the good thing that he has is that he's a midfielder that goes to the attack and helps in the front and knows how to score goals. So I, I hope he can do great things in Barcelona. The third question from Bader Aliaya 2002. Hello, no Nation, I'm a big fan of yours, and my question is, is Messi the same Messi that we had back in 2011? People say he changed and he's not like before. Well, it's, it's true, he has changed. I think now he's a more mature player, he thinks more, he doesn't go crazy and risk it all, he doesn't want to get injured because now he's getting older and you know the muscles are getting tired, but no, I'm kidding. He's more mature, he now is, he doesn't want to spend energy just to spend it, he looks where to, the ball can go, if he can ro run through the de defense or not. Before, he was in, the, in his golden uh, moment when he was winning Ballon d'Or, scoring many goals and he was after everything, he wanted to show that he was the best in the world. So yeah, I think he has changed, but not in a bad way, just it's, it's different. Before he was younger, he wanted, he had big, big expectations, now he's a little bit older and he has shown the player he is. So the next question is from Henry H. If you could buy a replacement for Danny Alves, who would it be? Love your videos, keep it up with the news. Well, I know you all like Bellerin, but I will go with some different players, okay? Uh, I think one of the, I will give you three options and then you can buy the one you want. The first one will be Philip Lam, I think. He's, I know he's a little bit old, but he's a great, right back and he can also play in different positions he's a great captain from Bayern Munich and I think he would be a great replacement then another one I know is from our opponent but I will go with Danny Carvajal I think he's a great defender with a bright future in front of him if he keeps working hard and it looks like he will I would buy Danny Carvajal and the third option would be the one from the Italian player from Rome Alessandro Florenzi I think he is also a great right back. But that's just my options. I would like to know who would you sign as a replacement for Dani Alves, even though we love Alex Vidal and Sergio Roberto. The next question from Sirahum Munir Fahim. If you could sign anyone from any team in the world for Barca, fee rivalry are irrelevant. Who would you sign? <laughs> uh, good, good. Well, I would go for a center back because, well, now we have Umtiti and we still have Mathieu 
and Piqué Mascherano, yeah, Mascherano is getting older. I know we have um, Titi, but I love Italian defense, so I would go and I would bring Barzagli. I know we have Bonucci, Chiellini, but I like Barzagli a lot. He is very mature, focused on his work, and he does a great job. So I would bring Barzagli, and also maybe Marco Reus, a player that I would like to see in Barcelona, even though that position is pretty covered, pretty good covered by Neymar. But those are the players that I would bring if I could bring anyone. And who would you bring, Sirahun? Next question from Ben Masson. In your opinion, what was the best decade in football, Bar football club Barcelona's history? Well, I have to say that in my, for me, what I have seen, I would go with the sextete from Pep Guardiola. It was a great moment for Barcelona with great players. We won everything that we could win. But I also think we have now a great team. And also one of the brightest moments for Barcelona was the dream team when we won the first Champion League in 1992 with Cruyff as a trainer and we had Pep Guardiola, Kuman, we had great players. But for what I've seen, I would say when we had Pep Guardiola as a trainer and we won the Sextete. That, will, that would be for me the best decade for Barcelona. The next one from Steven, age 24. Could you name your preferred lineup for this season and name three players you want to see coming to Barcelona in the next couple of years? Well, my lineup would be the next one. It's just the one I would prefer, okay? In the goal, I will go with Ter Stegen. I know there's a lot of fighting between Ter Stegen and Bravo because they both want to play everything, but I'm German, so Ter Stegen in the goal. Center backs, Umtiti and Piqué. We love Mascherano, but the young players, they should get a chance. Right back, Alex Vidal, and left back, Jordi Alba. Then in the midfield, I would put Sergi Roberto. Yes, I love that player. With Iniesta and Rakitic. And in the front, Messi, Neymar, and Luisito Suarez. And if I could, in a few years, if I could bring three players, it would be definitely Dybala, one of them. The other one, as I have talked before, I would bring a center back, a young center back, Italian, if possible. And I would love to see Marco Reus, because, well, I love him. And the last question is from Hassan Momani, or Momeni. How many trophies do you think Barca could win this season? Could they make the treble or all the six trophies or less? Please. Really? I, I think Barcelona, they have a great squad right now with the new young players that we have under Gomez, Denis Suárez, from Titi, Digne. And hopefully the fourth striker, hopefully we get one. I think they can win all if they are focused and they get rotations and every single player get a few minutes. I think in the Spanish Cup we can still be the Kings for a third year in a row. Champions League, it would be good that we win it. Even though I think Juventus did great signings, also be careful with Manchester United, Manchester City, Real Madrid. But I think we could do it. We could also win La Liga. We can win everything if we want to. Every single team can win everything if they want to. Well, guys, that's all for today. Thank you for your beautiful questions. And if you have more, don't hesitate to write them right here below with hashtag AskNoNation. And me or Morgan or Juan will answer them just for you. And if you're not subscribed to our No Nation channel, what are you waiting for? Just click the spotlight right here below and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. See you soon.